Okay, so in the last video we were looking at drawing straight lines, we're carrying on with that, but now we've got equations that don't have equals in them, they've got inequalities. Now hopefully you've met enough of these already so that it shouldn't come as a shock. And I'm going to briefly talk about drawing the line, but not in great detail. So I've got a statement that says that y has to be less than or equal to 3. So if I draw the line of y equals 3, because we always start with the equals line, then I am interested in the bit that is below 3. So therefore, anything up here does not meet that condition. So therefore, I'm ignoring it. I'm going to do exactly the same with the line x is less than equal to 5. So I'm going to draw a vertical line of x equals 5, because I'm going to pretend it's an equals. There's my line. And then I'm going to colour out all the bits that don't work. So there's that. Now there is another way you can do this, but I'm primarily saving that for this next bit. Oops, went a little bit fast, so let's just quickly edge that back a little bit. Right, the next one is 3x minus 1. Now in the last video we talked about how we could look at the y-intercept of being minus 1 and plot that point, and we could look at the gradient being 3, and that told me for every one square I go across, I go up 3. So it goes through there, and one square across, up 3, so it goes through there. So I'm going to do another one, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and that fits perfectly, so I'm going to draw a straight line that goes from that point all the way down to that point down there. Okay, now I've been told that x is, oh sorry, y is less than 3x minus 1. At this point I need a different way of being able to work it out, so I'm going to choose a point. I'm going to choose the point 2, 1. Remember my coordinates go across first and then up. I'm going to put that in. So I've got 1 is less than or equal to 3 lots of 2 minus 1. Well, 3 lots of 2 is 6, minus 1 is 5, and that is true. 1 is less than 5. So that point in there meets that requirement. So therefore, anything on this side of the line does not meet that requirement. Now, I don't have to really worry about that yellow bit, because that yellow bit now is in two areas, so I'm pretty much okay. So I've just got my last coordinate, and my last one is 3x plus 4y is greater than or equal to 12. So exactly the same as before. I make x equal 0, and I get 4y is bigger than 12. So we say x equals 0, so 4y is bigger or equal to 12, so y is bigger or equal to 4. Sorry, not 4, 3. Uh, can't do basic maths. Must have been the end of the long day. And I make y equal 0, and I get 3x is bigger or equal to 12, so therefore x is bigger or equal to 4. Well, if I join those two line points up, I get a straight line that goes down through there. And again, I'm going to use my same point, my one, my two, one. And hopefully it still works. If I put two, one into there, I get three lots. Two plus four lots of one should have made a times 1. So 3 lots of 2 is 6, plus 4 lots of 1 is 10, and that's got to be bigger or equal to 12, and it is not. So everything underneath there is not true, so therefore I shade that, and therefore I get this tiny little white bit left unshaded. And my optimal solution lies in that white bit. Okay, so that was the shading. I did it quite quickly. We'll do some more of that. See you in the next video.